All right, so I've got my new cable. Um, we'll pull that out and stick it in there. And the cable plugs right into this gear. And this is what helps spin the, the gear there on the window. I guess you call it a regulator or whatever. And um, that will move this back window up and down. So hopefully what we can do is... Well, I guess I could probably replace... I'll replace it all, see if it works. If it doesn't work, you can use this because uh, I have the motor. If your motor isn't working, you can hook this drill into the end, the end of your cable. It's just like a speedo cable. As long as it's not seized, you can use this drill to spin it slowly. And that will allow you to move that window up and down kind of manually, but, but with the drill. Um, but hopefully we don't have to deal with that. We can get this, the motor and everything in here and it will work. And then, then we can work on the um, sending unit from outside rather than uh, crunched up in the cab here. So that's the, the sending unit is going to be simple or the pump. I'm just going to pull the pump off. I bought an aftermarket pump. Same one I used for my LS swap. It was like 20 bucks on Amazon and it flows like... I think 60 pounds of fuel or, or uh, I think it's 60 gallons an hour or something like that but it's enough for it's more than enough for this TBI so we'll get that we'll get this stuff put together and see if it works all right we got the uh, I guess that would be considered the regulator in there and here's the new motor so we'll slap that thing in there too and uh, should be good to go. And then if you look at this cable, that's all it is. It's just a just a speedo cable. The old one, the old one got jammed up. Uh, in here, they get condensation or you know moisture in there, and then they just get seized up with rust. You can maybe you can maybe soak them and see if you can get them to break free, but. Chances are probably pretty slim, especially if they haven't been used in a long time. Like this thing probably sat for 10 years or so. Um, but we'll get get the gears lined up in there, get the motor hooked up, and see if she cranks. All right, so here here's how you can use this. Uh, figure I'll show you guys how you can use this here. Um, so you just go slow. And we got. And of course the handle the, lat, the handle and the latch isn't working so um if you want if you have this open like this to bypass that you lift up on either side of these and that'll pull the uh the latches and that way you can set it down you want this hold on let me let me do something real quick so the uh, window got stuck down the motor works and everything it wasn't putting the window up and down so it's stuck down now so I can't get to anything here I think the cable got disconnected so now I have to go reach underneath here and unbolt there's four bolts that bolt the window down just so I could unbolt it and then slide the window out so uh, we'll get that pulled out and then hopefully we can figure out why it wasn't going up and down right yeah <laughs> all right so I got all the um, those bolts out of there so now the glass is free so I can get to it do um, so this is where my problem was I didn't have it in that tab, it was below it. So the glass, the arm bringing the glass down actually pulled it, pulled it out like that. So that's, that's where I had my issue. So let's stick it all back together and I don't know what the reason is, but uh, hopefully we can figure out why it's not going up and down with the uh, switch. 
now I'll just bring up the arms using my drill and that way we can get this thing glass bolted in easier. There we go. So we'll bolt that glass in now and uh, it makes it a lot easier because oh where is the track? Oh here we go. So it lays on this track here and then it lays on this wheel. I'll just push it up and down. So we'll bolt it back together and um, that way we'll have a, uh, a working rear window hopefully. Alright so even with the, uh, I got the mirror pulled out and removed that way I can work in here because um, it was stuck down and I just hooked my uh, drill to the cable on the other side though and I was able to get these arms back up. So. Um, now I, I hooked the cable up, so the cable was hooked at both sides, tried to run it off the switch in the truck, and I just heard a click, and that's it. Like the motor's not strong enough, or there's something binding. So I hooked the drill back up, the thing went up and down fine. I, I sprayed it up with WD-40, tried it again, the switch still wouldn't put it up. So I unhooked this end of the cable, left this side plugged into the motor and then ran it again and um, it, it did spin this but I had to pull I had to play with this cable a little bit it, it's got some play in there I don't know if you can see that so I had to pull it out a little bit for it to spin so I don't know if it was tucked up in there too much and it was binding um, so now what I'll do I'm just going to pull this part out and I'll get this hooked up. Okay, so now that's in there. Um, so now we'll go to the front, we'll try it again and see if it, see if it just clicks or if it makes noises. It is going up. I don't know if it's just because I don't have a lot of a lot of juice to it. So I'm gonna I'll pull this and I'll just see what kind of um, I heard it moving. So I'll just see what kind of power I got coming to this, and uh, we'll go from there. I got to videotape this so I can see if it's getting power or not. Eight or something like that um, bolts back here the battery was pretty much shot so um, I'll have to check to make sure my alternator is charged but I think that's what the issue is uh, just low voltage so I'm going to put this all back together and um, I think it should be fine now so uh, yeah hope that'll do it and I'll just hook the track, uh, the window up to the tracks again, and then we should be good to go, hopefully. We got it running, so hopefully we'll see if it charges, and um, we'll go from there. So, uh, just test the alternator, and uh, it is bad, so. Um, so I'm just going to leave this thing on a trickle charger for a while, and I'll come back to this and see if if it uh, improves with a full battery and then um, I guess I'll be ordering an alternator also but yep so that's where we stand and uh, we'll get that this thing charged up and tested and hopefully that's what the problem is well hopefully that's what the problem is now since I got it's, it's all new now the other cable was seized up motor was shot so hopefully uh, this will this will do it Alright, so I pulled apart this, um, I don't know what you want to call it, I guess it's just a gear uh, drive for the motor and cable, um, and it's spinning just fine, so 
not really sure what the issue is here. Unless, I mean, this thing spins fine when I use the um, when I use the drill, but maybe the motor just doesn't have enough power to spin the thing. And I mean, I guess I could have got a faulty motor, so I can try to try to return that and get a new one. I guess that's the only thing I can think of um, that would cause this issue. I'm gonna clean this up a little bit. If there's a, I mean, I already cleaned it out brake clean I put all new all new grease in here and everything but uh we'll get it cleaned out a little better I guess if I'll just check to see it looks like there's some chunks of stuff that probably came off the gear drive here um, for the window so I'll clean that off I hit that with a wire wheel and uh, and then now I'll clean this one off and hopefully that will fix it and so I got it to work but it is so stinking slow. Um, that, this thing, I think, I think she does need an alternator. So that is probably one of the issues. We got well. Now it kind of charges a little bit now. It's probably on its way out, I guess. Let's see. If you can see it. Um, you can hear that fuel pump whining. It makes it so loud. There we go. So it's going down and up and down. But it just is getting stuck at the... And it should go a little further than that, I believe. It's going up pretty good for a second. And then it starts binding up, so I sprayed the crap out of these, uh, out of the gear. See, now she's stuck. She's slowly going, slowly going up. Each click, it's going up like a centimeter. So, um,. Not really sure what to do about that. I'm gonna end up. I don't know. I guess I'll just end up. I sprayed the heck out of it with some WD-40. Um, usually, at, my old one I used to spray the crap out of with lithium grease because I had these same issues. I think a lot of these blazers have the issue like that. So I'm just gonna. Um, I'll do that and then. Um, I don't know, it's good enough for now, for me, at least. Hopefully it's, you know, maybe it just needs all new, um, all new gears and tracks and all that in there. So, I'll, uh, before I close it all up, I'll rip that all apart, just to double check. But, basically, I mean, and I think the more I use it, the better it will become. Because this thing, I mean, it's been sitting for... It's been sitting for 10 years, so no doubt that all that stuff's all crusty. I've cleaned the majority of it up, but we'll see what we can do. But yeah, that, that pretty much sums it up for now. Um, I guess uh, we'll, we'll work on another project with this truck. Probably next thing I'll do is clean it up. I need to clean the interior up real good and then um, buff out the, uh, the paint and everything, get it shining pretty decent. Uh, get some rockers on this and then third tires on it brakes and I'll be good to go so we'll, we'll see where we get with this thing but I'm pretty stoked the window works now so that's huge well thanks for watching guys I hope uh, this maybe helped you troubleshoot with what's going on with the uh, rear window and these old K5s um, I definitely it wasn't too big of a deal but a little bit of troubleshooting went into it here and there and um, just those two parts so I think I'm in it I think I'm in it like 80 bucks or 90 bucks with the cable and the, the engine or the uh, the motor and um, a bunch of WD-40 but I might end up having to pull that apart and just making sure all the gears like all the gears all look good but we might have to go up in there and uh, maybe clean some stuff up or replace stuff but um, thanks for tuning in and uh, I hope you liked what you saw. If you did, please uh, give me a thumbs up, give me one of those likes, subscribe, 
and um, feel free to comment if you have any questions or uh, maybe other ways that if someone's watching this video, maybe someone else would have a better way of going about this and then just comment below and maybe you can help those people uh, check this video out. But thanks again and uh, keep wrenching on that jump.